What a way to start Thanksgiving is that run back is coming, baby. It is coming. What's up, everyone? It's your boy Infrared. Welcome to the Scout Report and Happy Thanksgiving. As today, I'm bringing you a chapter review of Boku no Hero, chapter 117, manga review. The hype is so real that I don't even can't even put my words together right now. As we are about to get that run back of Deku and Bakugo, round two. Let's go. Ready to go in. Let me tell you something. Horikoshi is among my top three mangaka right now. He's there. He's earned it. I don't think he can lose that spot at this point. He's up there with Oda from One Piece and Togashi from Hunter x Hunter because Boku no Hero isn't your average shonen. You can look at it at first glance and say it's just like Naruto or anything. And the stuff that we did in this chapter isn't anything that you haven't seen before, but the love that he puts into his work the weight on the words he used on these pens and the thing when he changes things up just when you think you know everything it's always something that i look forward to every week <laughs> this chapter is no exception this next week is definitely going to be live react definitely is we're about to get that fight even if it's just a short fight and somebody comes in and interferes i gotta give it to you raw for this one as soon as i got up this morning though and read this chapter the hype already started up i'm ready i'm hype all day after reading this chapter now Boku no Hero Academia Greatness starting off from last chapter and this is something again we already knew that Bakugo knew that Deku was using All Might's powers I mean it was pretty blatant and he's a smart kid to put two and two together as he actually pulls Deku to the side and brings him to the place that they first fought in way back what was that like chapter 10 in season 1 in the anime now when they had the the tag battle along with um, Uraraka and Gita where they had to get the bomb. You remember the fight? The fight that put Deku over Bakugo for the first time and he had to submit to the greatness that was Deku at the time. That's even a callback to Naruto because you remember Sasuke and Naruto fought at the statue between each other. We're kind of seeing the same parallels here but the whole point of the chapter is Deku pulling Bakugo aside and saying basically I know I know that All Might chose you. I mean, look at everything that's happened, putting everything together. Way back with the slime creature and you being there saving me then, to the villains being kidnapped, to All Might and All for One fighting, to you saying that someone entrusted a power into you, which was a mess up on Deku because he pretty much told him. Because remember, Bakugo went to All Might and confronted him and didn't get a straight answer. But again, the kid's smart. He put it all together all along. But the thing is, a lot of people are writing Bakugo off as being like a villain. Like, oh, he's going to end up being just like Sasuke. I don't think so. I'll say it every time. I don't think so. Bakugo truly sets out to be a hero. He's a prideful hero. I think of him more as turning good Vegeta instead of, you know, Sasuke. He's always set out to be a hero. He, too, looked up to All Might. So I don't think he'll ever be a villain, but he wants to still be a hero and be the greatest, just like All Might was. And he wants to fight Deku, and he wants to fight Deku now. He does not want to wait. Because the reason for it is, I can kind of understand where Bakugo is coming from. He's like, I have the same inspirations as you. I have the same dream as you. But All Might chose you. What makes you so special that he chose you? To give his powers to that he chose you to be his successor even going back to their battle with all for one and when he pointed to the screen and said you're next Bakugo was like that was pointing to you you took that different than everybody in the world because you are next what makes your dream better than mine what makes you better than me I don't think you're better than me as a matter of fact we're about to fight it and I'm about to prove that you're better than me as he takes a swing at Deku and the battle has begun and of course Deku's reluctant to fight him, but he's smart too. He's not gonna let Bakugo just wreck him because he knows he's not gonna stop. Able to read the moves, but Bakugo is so smart. He's like, I knew you read that move. Improvise through an explosion with the move. Honestly, I think Bakugo is going to win this battle. I really think he's going to win because if you look at character progression, you look at the grind, and you look at the thought put in, Bakugo is leagues ahead of Deku when it comes to pure fighting ability. When it comes to innovation, he's ahead of Deku in that department. He's building help himself while Deku was spending most of his time just trying to learn one for all, trying to adjust to one for all and use it for himself. 
Baco go had his powers ever since he was a kid. He's getting better and better at it. He learned how to manifest his special move quicker. And personally, I think Bakugo needs to get this win. And Deku needs to get this loss. I mean, he's taken losses before. But I think he needs his loss to show that he still has a way to go before he can stand shoulder to shoulder with Todoroki, with Bakugo, and the greats. And the, if you're going to be the greatest hero, which we know he will be, you gotta get past your greatest rival. And we gotta set it up where it's gonna be a final battle for the all. I think Deku won the first time, Bakugo should win once this time. And then we get the final battle between the two, maybe in a time skip when they're older. But I cannot wait for this battle. And it felt like a really quick chapter. It felt like it was only like five pages, I swear. It was the usual 15, 16, but it felt like it was only five five chapters or five pages. It was just so quick. Oh, the hype, the hype. Just, this is a hype review. I don't even think I covered anything. Well, actually, I did cover anything because it was basically like, I know your secret. Let's fight. Let's go Bakugo. I'm going for Bakugo. Guys, let me know what you thought of this chapter in the comments below. If you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. And definitely be by here next week because we're going to do a live, baby. And it's your boy Infrared signing out. Happy Thanksgiving once again. See you soon. <laughs>